guys welcome to learn with load has and today today's topic before we will discuss we will just go to a background earlier i have uploaded one tutorial on how to prepare and file ETDS return step one and i have got 30 views on that and i have got, got a comment from sudhir redikar just he told that it's a great video i'm waiting for step two and that's why i'm making this tutorial for Hey man, for my other subscriber who wish to know about the second step involved while filing ETDS return online. So once again go to the presentation. Our topic was how to prepare and file ETDS return. Now we have seen there are three steps in all in while filing ETDS return. First of all, downloading TDS preparation utility that is called RPU from NSD website. Second is preparation of TDS return and validation. Third is file ETDS return either online or you can send it to your nearest NSDL franchisee. So in this uh, tutorial, we will cover preparation of TDS return and validation. Those who don't know how to download it, they can view my earlier video. So let's start. We have downloaded ETDS RPU and there is very much is on my C. Once uh, you can go to RPU file, RPU.exe file, you click on this file, this software will cover uh, will come and click on 26Q regular, then click to continue. What you can do, do over here, first we should understand the different tabs available here. Before that, what I will do, I have uh, one file which I have saved earlier. I will open that file in this software so that I did not to punch all the data once again. What I will do over here, I have to learn. Okay, it's saying it's for 26Q. Okay, I will do it again. Let's see what it says this time. Okay, this time what is saying? It is saying I have actually selected 24, 26Q instead of 24Q. This file is basically for 24Q. What is 24Q and 26Q? Let's uh, let's see. Data will can go. Okay, I will tell you. Once you have deducted a TDS from a person's salary, you need to fill TDS return in the form 24Q. And if you have deducted TDS apart from other than salary payments like contractual payments, like professional payments, and other payments, then you need to file 26Q. So here, I what I'm presuming, uh, I'm filing 24Q for a person who is employed under Learn with Lohas Limited okay and I have directed TDS on his income so let's move how to go about it let's see first of all you need to fill a TAN deduction collection account number TAN number which everybody calls it before that uh, one should uh, know you have first Type year here 2030 and then you have to select the financial year 34 day. Okay, uh, after that, you have to select the quarter. I'm selecting quarter as Q1. Okay, and after that, you have to fill in TAN number, you have to fill in the permanent account number. And what I'm telling is uh, from the perspective of the deductor. You have to fill in TAN of director, TAN of the director. Here the TAN or employer is Learn with Lohras. Learn with Lohras Limited, I have, uh, here, here I'm here to mention the particulars of the deductor. About these columns, I will uh, let you know afterwards. Type of deductor, you have to select then what is the status of Learn with Lohra. Is it a company or is it a body of individual, individual, HDF firm, whatever it is, you have to select that. After that, if you are it, filing this as a revised return then you have to give it yes and in that case what will happen it will give you uh, this these four or five rows will get um, 
activated and you have to fill in this also okay so now it is uh, no so it won't get uh, activated and you need not to uh, type anything over here next uh, particular software after employer name learn with lodas and after that you have to fill in the address where is learn with loda is actually existed have a flat number name of devices and this is not this is then all you fill in all these columns but keep in mind wherever this tick mark is there that is a compulsory field if you won't fill that particular field what will happen this will not be validated so keep in mind wherever the stick mark is there you can see over here flat number is compulsory pin code is compulsory state is compulsory likewise and you have to fill in telephone number be sure you have to type uh, std code here and phone number here if you type total uh, total uh, whole of these uh, phone number is at one place it won't take this okay and after that you have to uh, mention your email id once you have done with that just uh, go below particular of the person responsible for deduction of tax that means learn with load has some person is there who is responsible for deduction of tds and filing the tax return or whatever is the case may be so person uh, on behalf of learn with load will detail of the person who uh, is responsible on behalf of learn with load has will have to fill in his own credentials over here so name uh, sumit loda i presume he is vp finance in london loda so you have to type his designation and after that we once again the address and all uh, for sake of easiness i have put the same address and all over here also save for number so it is just uh, uh, for uh, depiction purpose okay so i am filling all the details this is the uh, personal details of what you can see of your deductor and the person responsible for deduction of tax so uh, one more column and uh, if you see here has address change you have to put it no has address change no if you uh, going to change the address then you have to put it yes okay what is saying has address change in class return no then no okay now come to the next level challan yeah this is very much important you have to put serial number 1 first here then section code is not mandatory uh, if you put your cursor over here it will show field is applicable only up to financial year 2013 after that you have to fill in all the columns for example my employer that means learn with loda has deducted 100 rupees cds from my salary then what it will do 100 rupees and 3 rupees is education says 103 is total but one thing you need to be sure you have to be taken care of all the other columns you have to mention zero otherwise it won't get and whatever the active fields are there you need to fill in only those fields so like if it is not activity if i am trying to fill in anything it won't take it okay so moving ahead you have to mention uh, employer has to mention the bsr code okay of the bank Uh, through which that particular payment was made, uh, uh, and after that date on which that tax particular tax was deposited, and after this is the challan number. Once you will see uh, challan, bank challan, you will find this transfer voucher or challan serial number. Uh, you have to mention that number over here. After that, uh, one column is there whether TDS deposited by book entry or not. No. It is uh, paid. Actually, paid. This is not by deposit by book entry. It is uh, basically for government uh, uh, government type of department. They are transferring the TDS. Uh, they are depositing their TDS through book entry and all. So it is not uh, pretty much of importance for a common man like me, you and me. All the other companies and firms and individual have to deposit the TDS collected from their employees through the challan. Okay. So. Uh, the challan will number will come over here and interest if you have um, paid along with the interest you have to mention interest others and most important thing minor head of challan so if it is payable by the taxpayer it's uh, normal tds then it's 200 otherwise if uh, department has raised and demand or so after regular assessment of the tds statement then it will be covered under 400 so you have to select it 200 okay next coming to annex year 1 this is more important what challan was the challan detail whatever you have paid is 
cover under this and that for whom you have picked that now it will be covered in the NHL A so let's I've already filled in all the columns so that uh, it, uh, video should not take much time once again I have put Jalan serial number here I think I have shown you it's serial number 1 I think if, if it is uh, Jalan 10 Jalans then you need to mention over here how many entries uh, belongs to row number 1 how many entries belong to row number 2 like if there may be a case that you have one chalan and you have 10 deductees so what you need to do you uh, you have mentioned chalan 1 okay you need to fill in only once the total chalan but the adjustment you have to uh, you have to fill in 10 entries okay in all the 10 entries you have to uh, mention chalan serial number or select chalan number 1 okay so that a particular challenge will get adjusted against those entries so uh, since i have only one challenge over here so that problem uh, will not arise basically challenge serial number one i have mentioned then once again the PSR code that all will uh, be taken automatically by the system i need not to file it uh, this is very much important in which section you have made the deduction uh, for salary i have made it 92b so i have selected 92b and this is, uh, this is also already came from the last sheet this is very important the employee reference number provided by if uh, your staff number or employee number what you can see uh, you have to mention this one and after that pen of the employee pen number against which that particular TDS is directed that means a person who was the employee of learn with uh, whose tax has been deducted by the learn with loda and that employee detail will come over here name of the employee and presume sumit loda is employee also an employee of learn with loda and his pan number is this one and employer has deducted and paid this tds 100 rupees on which amount a thousand rupees i presume 10 percent rate uh, is applicable as per slab rates to mr sumit so on 1000 rupees employee has deducted 100 rupees and 3 rupees at education says and going further uh, you have to mention total tax deposited and the date of deduction and uh, these two columns are uh, if you have deducted less tds sometimes people are getting exemption for non-deduction of tds or deduction at the lower rate then you have to uh, remark you have to mention the remark a b or c over here okay uh, what is exactly the reason of this okay so uh, since i have deducted full amount so there is no need to fill in all this certificate number issued by the assessing officer under section once i will select this a so definitely there is a certificate issued by the assessing officer to that particular person for non-deduction low deduction once i have to select the reason here and you have to mention the certificate number over here so these two columns are not applicable for me for the timing so i am going ahead once i have done with that you i what i can do over here i can save this file by whatever name and learn with loras i am sending saving it what i have prepared i am saving this since i have already saved it so it's saying, it's saying that whether i need to it already exists do you want to replace it yes i want to replace it and after that you have to create a file this is the actual validation process since i don't have the csi file we'll discuss what is csi file uh, so i can't take this uh, i can't browse anything over here because all this data is a uh, dummy data so i don't have the csi file right now but while doing this the csi file is compulsory so no worry i will show you uh, how to go about it uh, if you do have the csi file what you need to do a uh, csi file you can download from the traces if you have the your tan number register over there you can download that csi file file it's exactly uh, chalan chalan file what you can see okay mm, you have to um, browse that file wherever it is and you have to select that file okay once we have done with that, second is consolidated file mark.tds file. It is applicable only for correction statement. So we are not filing a correction statement, we are filing a regular statement. 
so you need not to select anything over here third is error upload static report file path you have to just browse it and you have to just select it a path i am selecting desktop and then save it you need not to do uh, selection any file and all it is just a path you have to give where your error file or your uh, static upload file will be downloaded once you will click on validate it will show the message like this since uh, this file is having some errors i will tell you what kind of error they are and how to rectify them uh, error found during validation error file and html error file generated open c user desktop uh, whatever path i have given to them now just go to my desktop this is the error file this is the error file okay and how to view this it is as html file open with internet explorer yeah here it is what is showing it's showing uh, it's showing that file header uh, is statement time not even field time I, what is showing csi file is mandatory for non nil challenge i have some particular challenge so what it is saying that csi file is compulsory to validate this particular statement since i don't have once uh, you have the csi file you can uh, browse it and validate it easily so and it's also showing that fu version 3.9 so i have made it in 3.9 you please ensure whatever the um, latest fu version available on the nsdl website you just download that fu which contains the latest fu version so i think uh, for, for now it's 4.0 i think 4.0 is the latest version right now it, it gets changed so but the basic premise will remain, remain the same so i hope this makes sense and i uh, shown you how to file once you have done all with uh, all the uh, all these things you will have two file important file one is fu file which you need to uh, you uh, need to send to the nsdl for uploading purpose and one is the statistic report it will be like this statistic report it will show name the deductor and deductor pan of deductor type of form and assessment year financial year and um, total chalam amount number of deducted records records number of deducted records with tax deducted higher rates and different type of thing and uh, it will also show uh, how many challenges have been verified through the csi system how how uh, and which of the challenges are not exactly match so i hope this makes sense and tata bye bye for now if you like this tutorial then just come to our facebook page and like us or you can subscribe us on youtube for more of this kind of tutorials